The Revolutionary War had it just ended, and things were pretty bad between Britain and the newly formed America. Both countries were having problems trading with each other. Plus, America had not paid off its debt with British merchants. Ships and cargo were also being seized and searched. And because of the British Navy, America was having trouble trading with the Indies. So yeah, things were pretty bad. So this guy, President George Washington, wanted a treaty for both America and Britain. So he asked this guy, Mr. John Jay, to help him negotiate a treaty with the British. In Britain, Alexander Hamilton, this guy, gave John Jay some guidelines to this treaty. Number one, all British bases should be abolished and the British soldiers should go back to Britain. Number two, there should be a fair trade of exports with a proper amount of taxes. Number three, proper treatment of seized American ships and cargo. Number four, the release of all American prisoners. And number five, the right to trade with the Indies. With that, John Jay was on his way to London to discuss a treaty. Several months later, the treaty was settled and made, but some people thought that it favored England more than it did America. This treaty basically states that, number one, there will be a removal of all British bases in America. Number two, America will have the right to trade with the Indies. Number three, British can keep and or sell their lands for profit while being protected by the U.S. government. Number four, Britain will be able to port their ships and use our rivers for trade. Number five, there will be a fair amount of taxes on both British and American exports. Number six, there will be no improper treatment of British and or American merchants. Number seven, British and American cargo can be searched in ports. Number eight, there will be a regulation on war contraband. And number nine, all there will be a, a release of all American ships and prisoners. I hope you enjoyed my presentation on Jay's Treaty. Thank you very much.